Hey folks, this is Wistful Deal here, and today we have something quite different I want to show you guys, but it's still something similar that I hope you folks find interesting. Um, it's something that someone uh, went ahead and DM'd me since they're a huge fan of the um, MLP horror infection AU stuff, and I figured to go ahead and check it out myself. This isn't on TikTok, this is in fact on Wattpad, what what teapad or whatever it's called um and it's pretty much um this is pretty much a fan made script of a virus that they decided to go ahead and make and everything um it's still ongoing at the moment as you can see so i'm curious to see um how it ends or whatever but i don't know too much on it only read a small portion of it so i figured to go ahead and check it out and give you guys a read and see what you folks think of it or not. Um, so far there's four parts, uh, two auto tapes, and a separate scripted um, of the virus itself, of the info. So this is called the script um, Rose Virus, I think is what it's called. Um, the splitted, the splitted, whatever, um, Rose Virus. So anyway, um, I'm pretty much just going to give this a read and um, just go from there and I... Hope you folks enjoy this, so without further ado, let's go ahead and continue on with this. Also, forgive me if I misplace some little words with others or whatever. I'm just going to go through with it and just kind of not try to... Because I can't always read carefully and stuff or whatnot, so if I miss a few words here and there, so be it. I don't want to be completely... I mean, I want to be completely correct, but I don't want to be here all day getting mixed up with words or whatever so anyway without further ado let's continue on over with uh part one the first infection um all right so here we go it was a normal day at fluttershy cottage until a strange looking animal standing by the tree catches fluttershy's eye catches something small black and white fluttershy oh my what is that she went over she would say curiously as as goes to get a closer look. Fluttershy flies over. Fluttershy flies over to the animal, seeing the seeing the small bird in a really bad state. Black and black and white sprouted pimples overflowed the open wounds on the small creature's body. The bird's eye. The bird's eyes insist of one of with once beauty orbs, um, now are replaced with black leaves and thorns its wings stand similar to similar to a flower like pose um oh my god what happened to you flesh i would speak panicking over the small the small woodland creature flesh I, not knowing touches the poor bird and gets stabbed by one of the black thorns ouch she <laughs> oh man yeah, maybe not the best idea there, Fluttershy. Anyway, she would quickly look down at her hoof, seeing black thorns pierced into her skin. I will really should get this cleaned up. Fluttershy goes back into her cottage, cleaning and bandaging her hoof, and goes about her day. A few hours pass as Celestia's sun would be lowered and Luna's moon is seen in the sky. The animals are, fa are fast asleep, but... But down the hall in in the small gentle Pegasus room lies awake Fluttershy, her hoof trembling from it from in pain, black black veins poking out from the bandages from well the thorns pierced her hoof. Oh man. This hurts so much. She says she says, clenching back in tears. I should go see I should go see Twilight. Maybe she would have a book on flowers and thorns. As Fluttershy gets up and stands under her hood, she feels a strange, almost feverish, and begin to make her way to Twilight's castle. Oh, man. Definitely not off to a great start so far. <laughs> um, Alright, part two, scripted rose virus. It's 1.57 a.m. Fluttershy knocks on Twilight's Sparkle's door. Fluttershy, I'm so sorry to come by so late into the night, Twilight. I just really need your help with something. She would say on the brink of crying. Twilight, it's alright. What happened? How can I help? 
she would say she would say yawning sounding tired fluttershy well there was there was a creature nearby my cottage earlier today and i went to see if it was okay it it was looked like a it uh, it was it was looked like to be a a blue jay but it was strange it has it has these thorns and black and white script roses coming out of it with little white pebbles coming off of it. I touched the bird to see if it was alive and I got and I got these black thorns stuck in my hoof. Even though I got the thorns out and cleaned the bandage, the wound is really the wound it really, really hurts and I have been filling off since the thorns in my hoof, she explained to Twilight begin and begins to cough. Twilight Black and white script roses with purples and black thorns. Come inside. I have a few books that might help with something about black that black and white script roses. Okay, thank you, Twilighty. Um, Twilighty. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not the greatest reader, but yeah, like I said, I I'm not gonna try and I don't know. I I get myself mixed up so darn much. Um, I'm I'm terrible with reading out loud. Okay, folks. Um. They begin to walk inside. They begin to walk into the library of the castle. Fluttershy begins to loud out small coughs as she stumbles weakly. Twilight would notice Fluttershy. Fluttershy coats look lighter, and her unstando, un, unstain, unstand, and unstandiness. Uh, whatever. Fluttershy, are you okay? You don't look, you don't seem like yourself. Coughing and zones out. Spike, can you get my book on, can you get my book on illness on my book of strange plants? And my book on strange plants, yeah. Sure thing, Twilight. Twilight will get a, Twilight will get a bad feeling as her horn ignites in a purple magic and in and cases floated shy like a bubble in a bubble of magic. Flutter Shy would just stare at Twilight, not even blinking, and she begins to roll and her nose and eyes begin to bleed. Uh Flutter Shy? Twi tw help 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 me. Oh man, this isn't looking good for her. Spike. Here, Twilight, the books you asked for. Thank you, Spike. Twilight begins to read and look through her books for key words like eyes and nose bleeding, pale punctuation, drooling, coughing, fever, black thorns, and black veins. Oh man. Twilight doesn't find doesn't find anything on it in her books as as she sees Spike looking at blood at looking at blood with white dots on the floor while Floodshine was coughing. Spike Twilight, what's what's that on the floor? Spike, get away from that. It could be dangerous. Spike, we should we should send a letter to the princess and inform her about Fluttershy's condition condition. Maybe she know maybe she would know right away. Like I mean, sorry, getting interesting so far. Um Part three of scripted rose of the rose virus. All right, letter to Princess Celestia. Um, letter to the princess. Dear Princess Celestia, I'm writing this letter to inform you that Fluttershy has shown to has shown up to the castle and is in bad condition. She told me about an animal she found near her house that was some type of blue jay bird. She apparently touched it and black thorns s stuck into her hoof. She she told me. She told me that even after removing the thorns, she is still, she is still in extreme pain. And now I have, I have her increased in, encased in in a magic bubble. She doesn't, she doesn't seem okay. If you know anything on a black and white scripted rose line, uh, I keep calling it scripted for some reason, like it's a script. Um, scripted, whatever. Um, um. With black thorns and has white pebbles coming off of it. It's similar to portion to pollen. Please let me know. 
your faithful student, Princess Twilight, Princess Twilight Sparkle. All right, and now we got the um, auto logs here. So it's going on and do auto log one and auto log two. Um, tape one, auto log recording one. In in contentious, dangerous virus broke out a few months ago back in all peaceful, well, peaceful, well, which was once peaceful town of Pony, though. They named, they, they named it the, the Spritted, the Script, the Stripted, well, Rose Virus, um, my name is Snowy Clouds. I'm a Pegasus from Cloudsdale. I came to see my best friend Fluttershy. That's when I noticed no one was out. Nothing but a bunch of roses. That was until I see a pony stumbling near, near Sugar Cube Corner. It was one of the elements of Harmony, Rainbow Dash. She has pebbles falling off of her... She has, yeah, purples falling off of her mouth along with black thorns and things coming out of her eyes. Ah, uh, jeez, quite graphic. I could only tell it was her by her bloody cutie mark and, and rain loud with lightning bolt. S snaps and cracks can be heard coming from her. Ah, uh, jeez, so she's all jointy and shit. Um... <clears throat> I never thought I would be so scared to see to see one of Fluttershy's friends, let alone any pony. I refused to get close to her, so if I so if I flew as fast as I can, excuse me, I could get to a building that wasn't boarded up, boarded up, and and no one has been into yet. I blocked the door with anything I could find, armed myself with a knife, and flew and flew up to the cor and flew up to the corner of the ceiling, refusing to touch the floor as I heard Rainbow Dash banging against the door of the building. Ah, jeez. What what happened here? Where is everyone else? Is anyone is anyone alive? Is there is there survivors? And end of auto one. Tape recording auto two. Yeah, tape recording. Yeah, tape two auto recording two. Um, I found a survivor. Her name is Apple Bloom. She is a small filly with red hair and yellow and a yellow coat. I found her after I flew out of the building, barely escaping whatever monster or creature that rampaged that friendly, that friendly face of Rainbow Dash. Apple Bloom is the little sister of the element of honesty, Applejack. Once this class, a pal, a paramedic, yeah, a paramedic hit, a pandemic, ugh, geez, a pandemic hit, she got separated from her sister, Applejack. I hope we can find some survivors, we will find, we will find some shelter and rest for the night. End of Auto 2. Man, I need to read more on my own. <laughs> I'm sorry. My God, my reading. I feel like this is making it look bad than it is or whatever. Um, anyway, hours go by as Fluttershy progress progressives. Hours, hours go by as Fluttershy only progress, progresses progressions get worse. She is becoming hostile towards others, and Twilight can only hold the bubble with magic each time Fluttershy slams her body into the slide, into the side of the magic bubble, piercing Twilight's skull like a, like a, da like a dags of pain, giving her a major headache. Jeez. Fluttershy laying there coughing to Twilight. Help me, please. Twilight, what are we going to do? We can't just leave her like this, Twilight. If we let her out of the bubble, whatever she could do is spread is to be spread to all of Ponyville. No, all of Equestria. Uh Spike, we need to find a cure to help her. Alright, Twilight, I trust you. I'm going to grab some more of your books. 
All right, Spike. As they study and read throughout multiple books, Twilight begins to doze off her magic, depleting, fading, deplete. Yeah, depleting, fading, releasing Fluttershy out of the protective magic bubble. It only took moments before Fluttershy, whoop, before Fluttershy was leading over Twilight's sleeping body, blood rose pebbles dripping from open wounds. Twi- Twilight, twi- Twilight. Twilight opens her eyes and lets out a scream before Fluttershy lashes onto Twilight's rain, ripping it off. Ah, uh, Twilight! Spike grabs the nearest object and bashes Fluttershy's head, knocking her out. The area will, the area where Spike hit her with a heavy textbook begins to bleed, bleed blackish blood and, and spritz it and spread rose pebbles onto the floor. Tw- Twilight, are you okay? I think so, but she almost took my wing off. Wait, so she nearly ripped it off? I thought she just yanked it off. Oh, almost. Okay, I'm stupid. <laughs> um, I think so, but she, but she almost took my, took off my wing. What's wrong with her? Oh, sweet Celestia. I can't believe she bit me. <clears throat> Spike steps around Fluttershy and bandages Twilight as they both leave Twilight's castle, going to find going to find somewhere safe to stay while they figured out what's going on. I'm liking this so far. And now we're at the last part here with the stages, so let's go ahead on over. Um Case Case number um sixty seven thousand dash twenty twenty six G T W capital T scripted rose virus subject number zero zero sixty seven. All right, um, the scripted the scripted rose virus is a heavily contagious virus that that organized from the ever that originated from the ever free forest um geez the first to be infected was fluttershy she con she contracted the virus by touching a bird that was already at the final stage and and got the black thorns that had that had the white pebbles on them into her hoof even after subject Fluttershy, um, subject 0016, patient 0, of course we're going to have the fancy names, cleaned up, cleaned and bandages, and bandages the hoof, the hoof, hoof the pebbles, the part nodes that were on the plants, thorns already made it into her bloodstream, causing her to become infected. Stage 1. Subject will have will have irritation on the area of well he, she, or they has been bitten or has an opened wound and the infection begins to set into its early stages. And already infected, even if cleaned, it will become red and after an hour or so, black veins will appear spreading across the limb of the infected area. The infection makes its way through your bloodstream, through your bloodstream, causing your um, nervous system to slowly fail, eventually making it able to not be cured by medicine. Med- medication, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh, my reading's so damn bad. I'm sorry, folks. Um, the pony will be in great pain from the area as it feels like your being boiled with hot with hot steel or being stabbed multiple times nonstop in the same area. That is going to be, that's brutal. He or she or they will become very weak and low energy. He or she or they, I'm adding the they in now, um, will lose color and puncture, and puncturate blah, blah. Well, pretty much means they'll lose their cold as well or skin and human case or whatever. Stage two. 
He or she, they will suffer from insomnia and zone outs as they will struggle to stand and become weak from lack of sleep, slowly going insane. Hair loss and pupils of the fur will fall out. The pony's fur will start to fall out, leaving exposed skin. These areas, these areas you see exposed will begin will begin with open cuts and will not stop bleeding once a pony is seen with this. Best avoid them. Best avoid them because after stage one, it is too late. Eventually, they will begin to to show redness to their eyes, and they'll, well, excuse me, and their coat color will start to become very, very pale. Eventually, becoming nothing but nothing but a milky, glossy color with without pupils. Oh man. The pony will begin to fully zone out and stare off into space, not even responding, and will drool, and will drool. The pony also, the pony can also suffer from headaches, bleeds, and difficulty breathing, and seizures are possible. When they are, when they are at the final parts of stage two, you notice they have vein, they have small veins coming out from their eye from their ears, eyelids, nose, and mouth. Small pupils like small pupils like things can be seen coming out of open cuts and wounds. Cutie mark will be cutie mark will start to fade and saturate and and sent and saturate and hard to see. Stage three Avoid any pony that you see at this stage they will they are not safe. He or she or they will, will have roots and leaves piercing out of their eyes, stockings, mouth, and nose. The veins rip apart the mouth, causing the jaw to hang, to hang by the veins, causing major blood loss. The pony, the pony will become extremely hostile and hungry. Wings, wings and or horn will rot and have veins and rose pebbles and thorns sticking out of them. Magic loss, any unicorns, alicorns will not be able to use magic once infected. It will become eat, it will, it will eat at the, it will eat at the magic and if they try to use the horns, it will cause the horn to crack and eventually cracked and break the horn and will rot and fall off. Ah, geez, so like a zombie. Can't fly. Any Pegasus, owl, or any Pegasus or alicorn will lose the ability to fly as the wings will have rotten and open wounds with scripted, with scripted um, pebbles, particularly from open wounds along with burns and thorns Poking through the skin, cutie mark will not be visible anymore. A groaning and cracking and choking noises can be heard from these ponies. They are highly contagious. Ah, jeez. Stage four. The pony will have the pony will have roots coming out of the the back hooves and of the back hooves and the. Roots and the roots will stick into the ground. Once the roots are stuck into the ground, it begins and begins. The virus begins to set into the final stage. This reminds me of the black tree disease. This is cool. Um, the ponies will have black and white script roots. Pebbles fall off of every opened wound on their body, causing white pebble like particles to be released into the air. Um, well, whatever. The pony pony's neck will be ripped apart as the head begins to sprout into a rose. <laughs> so it's like the Stranger Fiends monster or whatever. Um, the ponies, the ponies' body arms will sprout into nothing but thorns and black leaves. The whole body, 
uh, excuse me, the whole body would start to twist and break into a complete lookout of nothing but a black and white scripted rose. Jeez. Stage four, stage four, final stage. The pony dies. Notes. Every pony can remain, <coughs> remain alive for a few days after the final stage finally sets in. <coughs> How to stay safe. Wear a mask to avoid the particular, wear to avoid particles, blah, I'm so stupid, to avoid the particles entering your body through your mouth or nose. Wear gloves to avoid stepping on infected plants, um, avoid any pony that is infected, don't eat any food that looks suspicious, the suspicious signs are the de de discoloration, um, Flow, smelling, and rotting looking. Um, small black spots on food. Don't touch anything that has black thorns or looks or looks like a black and white scripted rose. Avoid of information. Avoid the infected. Uh, carry a weapon. All right. So that is pretty much uh, the black rose. The uh, scripted rose virus or whatever. I really like this one so far. I think this one is very interesting so far. Um, I know my rating was not the best by any means. I was completely terrible with it, honestly. But overall, I definitely enjoyed this one. This one seems very interesting. I'm curious to see what you folks think of it. Um... I, let me know if you folks want me to cover more of this one in the future when it updates more. I definitely like this one so far. Um, I'm sorry for my bad rating. I know it was complete shit, but overall, I definitely enjoyed this one. But I'm very curious to see what you folks think of it as well. The link to this will be in the description below for you folks to go ahead and check it out as well. So... Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this video here, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed it, despite my horrible, horrible reading. But yeah, I definitely like the virus so far. It reminds me a lot of the Black Tree Disease virus, which I find really cool. I definitely want to cover that one up, too, when I get the chance as well. But yeah, I, I really like this one so far. It's definitely setting the image in my head of the disease, so... Yeah, I say overall this is a really good story and it's definitely pretty good. Even though it's similar to the Black Tree Disease, I still find it really good and really amusing. So, yeah, keep up the good work. Um, but as of now, folks, I'll see you all sooner or later. Bye-bye, everybody.